to wind up on behalf of the Labour Party. Thank you, President Officer. As I said, in opening, Labour is committed to high quality childcare and early education. This was evident through our expansion and development of nursery education and childcare, the introduction of robust regulation and inspection regime, the support for workforce development and the introduction of a graduate level profession, and also the Labour initiatives of the Working Families Tax Credit and the minimum wage. Scottish Labour saw and continues to see childcare as a major priority policy area because we believe that it is a major issue of equality and of fairness. Equality and fairness for hard pressed families, for women who want and need to work but rely on the support of good quality childcare to do so. And I think John Park made a number of very good points about that. For parents who need assistance in caring for children, some of additional needs and for children themselves providing a safe place, a stimulating environment in which to grow and learn and to experience opportunities and events which otherwise they may not have had. As Anne McTaggart said earlier, Labour and Glasgow City Council are already providing 15 hours a week of nursery provision are showing the way in this and are pledged to expand nursery provision to children before they turn free rather than after they turn free. This will benefit thousands of young children in Glasgow. Glasgow City Council are showing what can be done and should be commended for doing so. We recognise, as many have done this morning, that early education uh, and care are inseparable. That is why we moved to give preschool education grants to child care services providing early education and care. It was part of our commitment to children and families. And it was not just in the early years that child care expanded. Out of school care for older children is essential for working parents. This too grew under labour, but as the daycare trust and children in Scotland highlight in their recent report, we need to do more to increase their availability, particularly for those children with additional needs. What we need is action that will support children and their families and not make it harder for them. Again, I therefore hope that the Conservative Lib Dem UK Government will reverse their cuts to working tax credits, which are wrong and shameful and have a devastating impact on thousands of low income families. And I hope the SNP will meet their pledge um, to increase nursery provision to 600 hours. I just read a quote here. We, we will increase the provision of free nursery education for three and four year olds by 50 per cent. That means increasing the entitlement from 400 hours a year to 600 hours a year. Page 51 of the SNP manifesto in 2007. And despite Mark Macdonald suggesting 20 per cent as a great achievement, what he's actually promised was 50 per cent. So in terms of your, your latest announcement, I hope we have 100 per cent implementation of that and not deem 20 per cent as accessible. And I hope we also will see more details from the uh, Minister to deliver how they're going to deliver that pledge, how, how much uh, resources are going to be given to local authorities and whether we're going to see a consistent teacher-led input across the country. I also hope the SNP government will look again at the provision of childcare and nursery provision for babies and children under the age of three. Uh, under Labour, the Sure Start scheme provided nursery places for vulnerable two-year-olds, but in 2007, the SNP scrapped this and have taken five years to announce a new initiative. Support for places for looked after two-year-olds. We, of course, welcome this. But we also need support for those other vulnerable two-year-olds who are not looked after and look at support for vulnerable children under the age of two. However, as I said earlier, I welcome children's charities and children's providers looking at innovative ways and other childcare regimes to see how we can further improve childcare provision here in Scotland. I believe we need a Scottish model of childcare that supports the different needs of children and families, that ensures every child has access, no matter where they live, a model where parents know their child is receiving high quality care. We need a Scottish model that celebrates and learns from the excellent work done in our childcare centres, that learns from other countries but does not follow slavishly practice in countries and contexts far removed from the reality here in Scotland. We also need a Scottish model of continued regulation of services and staff. Urgent action is needed to help families with childcare in, uh, across Scotland and for families of children of all ages. Thank you very much. <coughs>